Hi everyone, I'm Andrea Ali and in today's video I'm going to talk about how to choose the right red lipstick for you. I decided to do this video after in one of my previous videos I was telling you that there is no way you do not look good with red lipstick and a lot of you said well I actually think I don't look good with red lipstick and at the same time you guys were asking me to do a video where I can help you choose the right shade of red lipstick because I keep on my statement you do look good with red lipstick all women look good with red lipstick you just have to find the right shade of red lipstick and you also need to know all of the tricks that I'm going to tell you in this video. Before we get started, please make sure that you've subscribed to my YouTube channel. Click on the ring bell button so you'll be notified whenever I'm posting new videos like this one. Now let's get into it. I mean, what can be sexier than red lipstick? And if in the past we used to associate red lipstick with, or at least I used to associate red lipstick with an evening or a cocktail look, Ever since I moved to Paris, I've seen more and more wearing a red lipstick during the day. Wearing something extremely comfortable like a white t-shirt, jeans, or just a white shirt. I've seen this a lot. This is like such a ordinary image to see a French woman wearing a beautiful white crisp shirt with a red lipstick. I, I, I kind of copied the French style a little bit today. You can tell that the rest of the makeup is very, very natural. And I think that red lipstick during the day is just so chic and effortless if you know how to make it look effortless. And it's just never getting out of style. It's the first rule of wearing red, red lipstick is to even out your skin tone. It doesn't mean making it perfect because the more you're trying to cover whatever imperfections you have, the more it's going to look a little theatrical. So if you want to make it look very comfortable and very like casual, you don't want to apply too much foundation. You don't want to apply too much complexion products but you do want to even out your skin. Now I would say that there are really no rules when you pick the red lipstick. However, for those of you who struggle not knowing what they should use, I'm going to give you some guidance, but don't take them as rules, okay? Just more like a guidance for a beginner. So we've got red lipsticks, we've got more orangey reds, we've got more blue tone reds, and then we've got like more like a true tone red. Now you should know that the true tone reds are those reds that kind of look good on everybody. Like I would say um, MAC Ruby Woo is the kind of red that literally looks good on everybody. I haven't met one person that does not look good with Ruby Woo from MAC. So the, the warm tone reds, they are those orangey, corally uh, kind of reds. In there, I would say that there is a rule, but there are exceptions as well from this rule. I rarely find a very fair skin tone woman uh, with a blue undertone that looks good with a warm red. So I would say that warmer tones of red, they go best with a warm skin tone with an olive skin tone. And also I think that when you have a little bit of a tan, because it gives you that golden skin, a warm undertone red lipstick would look absolutely amazing, like very summery and very modern. Let me show you the kind of colors you would not look good uh, if you are very light, skin tone with red undertone. Just one option, this lipstick is from Rodine and the color is Tough Tomato. It looks like this. It's beautiful orangey red. I actually have more of a neutral undertone for my face. For my body I have got a definitely yellow undertone. However, I like to match my face with my body so I always choose a foundation that has more of a yellow undertone. This lipstick would look good on me. This is more of a sheer formula. I'm smiling, the teeth do not look yellow. Also it helps the fact that it's a bit 
sheer it's not completely matte i think that if the lipstick is a little bit sheer it has a little bit of shine on it it's a bit more forgiving in case it's not your perfect shade of red now let me take this off who would actually look good with this kind of color obviously if you have similar skin tone with me like that's a yellow or a olive undertone you would definitely look good with this kind of lipstick however keep in mind that doesn't matter your skin tone you still have to have that even skin of course if your skin is beautiful and you don't have any redness any blemishes any acne scar if you're blessed like that i already envy you but uh, you can pull off a uh, red lipstick without needing a foundation or a concealer i'm gonna move on to another uh, very beautiful warm uh, red this is yves saint laurent uh, lipstick and the color is one just like that. I'm gonna put it right here so you could see that it's warm, but it is not as warm as this one. Let me put this one on so you can see how it looks like. This is gonna dry matte, by the way. You can see that it has a little bit more blue in it, but it's still a warmer tone red. A red lipstick that I personally adore and it has that red that's just out of this world. It's more on the warm tone red but it's not that warm as in to make your teeth look yellow or to not work with a fair skin tone and that is the Il Maquillage Matte Geisha. Now if I'm going to show you each and every one of these red lipsticks my lips are gonna be so sore at the end so I'm just going to apply them. Some of them I'm gonna show you directly on my lips but some of them I'm just going to show you on my hand. Now this right here this is the Matte Geisha. It has an unreal red like on the lips it's just so beautiful it transform into a complete matte formula but very very comfortable on the lips a more warmer tone red is also this one from Laura Mercier this is in Coral Vif it's this one right here it looks like this in a packaging this is such a beautiful warm Red. This is a classic from NARS. It's called Heat Wave. It's this one right here. I was wearing it yesterday on my stories when I was doing a mini tutorial. It looked just so fiery, so intense. Now let's talk about more cool tone reds. Cool tone reds are those reds that have a little bit more blue in them. Like for those of you who don't know, warm tone reds are the reds that have a lot of yellow or orange in them. Cool tone reds are reds that have more blue in them. By comparison, can you tell the difference? Now this Shirley is more of a cool, deeper red. Who would look good with this? It would look the best on someone that has more of a deeper skin tone. That would look amazing on a deeper skin tone. Um, it will look like a beautiful true red but even if you have a lighter skin tone it doesn't mean that you can pull this off and let me try this so you can see how it looks like on me even if it's a deeper tone red it still doesn't bother me I still feel like it I could pull this off the only thing that I want to add about these kind of lipstick that are um, that have a satin finish, a, a, a glossy finish, is that sometimes you smile and they get on your teeth. Do I have that yet? And yeah, you see like... Now another beautiful, really, really beautiful, more cool tone red. Is this one from Rodine? Red Heady. This is how it looks like. It's just incredible beautiful it has such a luxurious 
formula extremely creamy on the lips has again the same problem that we might get on your teeth of course depends on the quantity that you're applying another one of my favorites is the Armani 400 red lipstick this is just it's this one right here I mean I have to try it now it looks like blood I remember when I first bought this lipstick, I was just so mesmerized. It could have been Megan Fox who advertised uh, for Armani and for this lipstick in particular, but I was so hooked. I think our days people go more towards matte lipsticks and I have a few options for you. Now some true red lipsticks that I think would look good on absolutely everybody. I think it's a very much like uh, Ruby Woo from MAC when, when it's not, they're not too warm, they're not too cool. Um, so that's why they work for so many people. And this is one of them. This is Rouge Muse and it's from Laura Mercier. It's the new collection. Um, it looks like this. It's a very comfortable a formula more of a satin formula but it's very long lasting it has a formula that sort of sticks to your lips and you will not have that problem where you're gonna have lipstick on your teeth or anything like that another amazing red I'm telling you like amazing red like out of this world kind of red my hands do not give it justice but my lips are bleeding right now it's um this color right here, it's called Cinco del Mayo, El Cinco de Mayo, and it's from Huda Beauty. Beautiful red. Remember the video that I did with my cousin Laura? In the intro, I was wearing this lipstick. A lot of people were asking me what it was. Well, it was Huda Beauty, El Cinco de Mayo. Very long lasting matte, but comfortable. Not one of those liquid mattes. When it comes to liquid mattes, I've got two really, really good ones for you. And one of them is By Terry Lip Expert Matte. This is a matte liquid lipstick. It's one of those lipsticks that you put it on and it becomes so velvet and so intense. You know what, maybe I'll just put it on, whatever. I mean, come on. This is a number 10. Let's wait for this to dry so you can see the beauty of this lipstick. It's literally one of the best. Again, this is part of those red lipsticks that look good on everybody because it's not too warm, it's not too cool. It has like the, it has like the perfect combination. Now this is how the lipstick, the By Terry lipstick looks like when it's dry. It gets slightly darker, I would say. I see this lipstick, this color, and even the formula. It's so lightweight, it's just suitable for everybody. Now a very, very good dupe after the By Terry is the Sephora liquid lipstick. This is in the color 01. They are just so similar. Let me put them on my hand so you can see. The Sephora is just slightly, but I mean slightly, uh, warmer. By Terry has just a pinch more of that blue uh, undertone that I personally love. So these two are one of those lipsticks that look good on everybody. You will never find anything as intense as liquid lipsticks and a really good color that again it's very like universal uh, red is goddess 202 goddess from mark jacobs looks like this now on my hand it's right here as you can see it's similar but it's not quite as intense it's very similar with um, the by Terry one a good advice when wearing red is for the rest of your makeup to be less busy Have less makeup on your eyes because you want the red lipstick to be like the focus on your face I feel like what makes it look more casual 
is when you apply it without having a very precise contour. I was showing you the other day on my stories that I like to use the Q-tip right after I apply my classic lipstick and just blur the, the lip line so that it's not as sharp. When it's very very sharp I feel like that's more on the evening kind of a look. I hope this video was helpful and that you've learned something new. Make sure that you've subscribed to my YouTube channel, click on the ring bell button, follow me on Instagram. I share a lot of uh, makeup tips in there as well on my stories. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Come to mama! Let me show you that it doesn't come off. Here we go again. People absolutely adore you, I'm telling you. You're like a star. What can I do if you're born so pretty with those blue eyes? Now, now I can't put on contacts. You know that I have sensitive eyes. Okay, well maybe we can negotiate about that. <laughs>